Hello. Hello everyone, welcome once again to Huna Your Highness TV. And today we are going to look at this interesting topic. The Greek deities or the Greek gods versus the Ghana gods. Yeah. I've discovered a whole lot. So I decided to share with everyone. Because I've been studying the Ghana mythology for some time and I've also been studying the Greek mythology all my life. And yeah. When you check the Ghan history too, the Ghans make it clear that they migrated from an area around ancient Kush, that's around Egypt thereabouts. So it comes as no surprise if they have if the Ghans have some links with the Greeks or the Italians or something. Maybe in ancient times, I don't know, but there there can be some sort of connection. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to waste too much time. Just going to delve. Now the Greeks be believe in Zeus, the god, the king of the gods. And Zeus is depicted as an avial god. He can transform into a bird, mostly eagle. The gods, okay, the people of Nungwa. I'm not going to say the gods. The people of Nungwa also believe in the Gbobu deity, and Gbobu also comes as a fowl. So growing up in Nungwa here, there used to be a story or a mythology that whenever you see a white fowl, a pure white fowl with his children at midnight walking or with his chicks walking, that means you'll be rich. Yeah. And interestingly, the Babu is seen as a pure white deity, very white. And then this white fowl, and Babu always moves with his children. And this white fowl always moves with his children. And even the Babu deity is also believed to be the god of riches and a protective god. And stories tell her that when you meet that white fowl at midnight, you'll be rich. And when you tell the Ghan mythology, too, the Ghan mythology also states that the deity sleep during the daytime. And they wake up in the night. So from 6 p.m., that is their daytime. And then they will be walking around, living their life. Then morning time is their night. Then they sleep. Then we. So in the Ghan mythology, in the Ghan culture, if you want to invoke a deity or something, it is said that the best time to invoke them is at night. But during the daytime, it's like you are disturbing them. Yeah. So Babu is usually seen or coming as a white fowl, a, a white cock, because even when walking, everything, and the same thing as Zeus. Okay. Now, uh, Zeus is said to have a wife called Hera, that is the goddess of the skies and rains, and she's a very jealous woman. The same thing with Babu's wife, Ashele. Well, Hera is seen as the goddess of the sky, but Ashele is the goddess of the earth. And Ashele is also the goddess of the earth and the rains. Okay. And Babu's wife, Ashele, is also the goddess of the earth. That's the opposite of the sky. But she is the goddess of the earth and the rains. So she controls the rains and the earth. Hera controls the skies and the rains. So you see the similarities. Now, Hera's rage is fiery hot. Ashele's rage is also fiery hot. Zeus is afraid of Hera. Babu is afraid of Ashele. And Ashele is always jealous. The same applies to Zeus. The same applies to Hera. Ashele fights every woman that comes near Babu. The same. So you can see the similarities. Yeah. Okay. Um, Zeus' personal blacksmith, okay, or, me, or someone who, fa who fashions his metal is Hephaestus, and we also call Hephaestus as Ayah's son law. He does their metals and everything. So you see how it goes. But then, Babu is also said to have a herbalist, someone who attends to his 
to him medical in terms of preparing herbs for him and all that. And that's Bohunu, similar to the Greek. And that's Bohunu, similar to the Greek mythology. Okay. Now, the god of the underworld is Hades. Okay. The Gans also call him Topia. Topia. He's the god of the underworld. Now, among the Greeks, when someone dies, you have to put two coins on their eye because they need that money to pay the man, the man who, who ferry them across the river sticks. That is, um, is it Charon or Carrion, one of them, yeah, to ferry across the river sticks. We also believe the same thing. When you die, we give you coins. Okay, that is coin, silver coin or gold coin, any of them. Because when you get to the underworld, you have to cross a river. And that river, you need to pay the ferryman. So it's the same belief. Okay, um, they have the Greeks have the goddess of beauty, Venus. We also have the goddess of beauty. Um, what's the name? Buswafi. Also, Obona is also another goddess of beauty, the same as Busuafi over here. You know, we have so many similar. They have the god of the wind. We also have the god of the wind. That we call him Ahunu. They call him Ephaestus. They have the god of war. We also have our god of war. They have, and then when you check ancient Egypt too, they have deities that are more like half human, half animal, humanoid. They have um, Anubis, who is half rabbit, half human. And when you check them, uh, they also have the Akwitiyoko deity, who is said to be half rabbit, half human. Okay, yeah. When you come here to, we have so many of them. We have the Ofu, half python, half human, Logmaku, half cobra, half human. We have them. And when you check ancient it's leading to Greek, those same kind of deities are like. There are so many of them that if you want to sit down to look at, you will see the similarities. Now, um, the Greeks believe in Poseidon, the other god of the sea, who wields a trident, okay, with three tips. So you can check my documentary, The Water Deities, where we spoke of Poseidon. It will be hovering on top of the screen. The water there. You can even search the water deities. We are going to learn about the Ga water deities. It's a very great documentary. Okay. So he wields the trident where we illustrated everything and show and showed pictures to make you understand. The same way um, Nai, okay, is also believed to wielding the trident. He wields the trident, but with the guns, we depict it as a wooden trident. But then the Greeks depict it as a, me as a metallic trident. Now, Poseidon controls the whales and dolphins. He rides them. But we, we believe that Nae is the whale himself. So even when you get to the Nae way, he, he, um, the symbols or the emblems or the totems are whales. And the guns do not eat whales. And all those were explained in the documentary, The Water Deities. We believe... Poseidon or Nai has children, and some of his children are Akele, that is Nai B. Akele, um, Abunsu, and the many others. Yeah. So you can see, it's the same thing with them. The Greeks also have this deity, Hermes, who is the messenger of the gods, and we also have him as Chawi, Hermes. Okay, the way he's depicted, the same way also depict him. They also have the god of pleasure and drinking, that is um, Bacchus or, or Dionysus. We also call him Dingla over here. So you can see, very similar. Now we also have the god of the mentally ill over here, the god of the mentally So that is um, Ayuku. Dang, dang now, this is our god of mentally ill. Actually, he doesn't heal them, no. He rather takes care of them. So, assuming somebody is developing some symptoms of mental illness or depression, and you take this person to, let's say, are you could to heal the person, then you further made a mistake because this person, this deity will rather fool the illness such that.
because he needs the mentally ill in his kingdom well, those are the people he rolls with yeah so it, there, there are a whole lot there are a whole lot to learn so basically or oh, to cut it short i just understand that the gas the Ghana deities and then the Greek gods are very, very similar. And if you want to delve into our mythology, you need to sit down and learn very well because maybe you need a consultation. It's not just any deity you consult because maybe the one you think will help your issues will rather worsen the issues. So you need to know each one and their duties. And then, yeah, so when you know what each and every one, you can channel the problem to the right person but people just consult anyone and that is where they are always at fault so to understand the gun date is very well check the description box below um, you will see my blog historical it's also on the screen write it out okay when it opens you will see the Pele deities and the clamor deities of the Gadangbe people it's an article I'm still writing so far, it has accumulated over 4,000 reads. Over 4,000. Yeah, and people are, and it keeps counting. Because I'm documenting all our deities so that you can know their functions, their stories, what they do. Everything about them is there. So that when you are consulting or you need help or you are studying our mythology or you want to work with our mythology, you will know the right person to go to and not just jump and say oh this is a priest so no 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 you need to know what each and every one does and the gun mythology is a little not known so this article is trying to bring it out okay so without much i say if you have any question you can do what to ask in the comment box below if you have any contributions you can also place the comment box below if you wish to contact me my contact on the screen and any other assistance, I can help you get it. If you want to know about Ghana, our histories, our culture, who we are, tourist sites, I have a book, No Ghana Better. You can just send me a personalized message via email or WhatsApp and I'll gladly assist you. Also, you can get the hard copy or the soft copy from me. Also, you can also search Hunia. You can just Google Hunia Tete and my business line will come. If you are feeling lazy to contact me, you can just Google Hunia Tete. The, my business or my knowledge panel would show up. Then you can easily order the book from there because you will see no Ghana, learn Ghana and Dangbe language with Hunia, learn Ghana and Dangbe and Tree with Hunia. So you can see all that book. You can just click, click, and that's so everything will get to me, and I can assist you. I publish lots of articles. I make some. I make. I do post on Facebook about our culture and stuff, where you can be following and be learning more outside of what you learn on YouTube. Okay. So, without much, I say, thank you very, very much. And if you are also touched to support whatever I do, you can. If also you are a tourist and you wish someone to take you around you can contact me and i will gladly assist you thank you very much it's genesis on the beat